And all that remained of her was her left shoe, stained ruby red with her own metallic liquid life support. After that fateful night, she was never seen again. But some say that if you listen carefully, you can still hear the haunting echo of her footsteps through these very woods. <laughs> Come on, guys. You gotta admit, it was still a pretty decent spooky story, despite its chronic cheesiness. It scared the crap out of me when I first heard it. Hey, I was only 18 at the time. I was really easily scared back then. All right, all right. Damn. <laughs> I'm not a marshmallow, y'all. You don't need to roast me so much. Eh? <laughs> okay. I probably deserve it for how awful that joke was. Let's just move on to the next story. Why don't you try telling one, babe? I'm sure you've got a good story tucked away in there somewhere. Ah, don't be shy. You're a great storyteller. Tell her, guys. See, everyone agrees. Now how about I make us all some more s'mores, while you, my sweet lovely baby doll, spin us a tale or two. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Show us what you've got. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I I'm fine. Everything's fine. I mean it. I'm great. Amazing. Fantabulous. <laughs> Me? Scared? No, of course I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, tired? <laughs> yeah, tired. Really, really. Oh, ha, yawn. Tired, really tired. On that note, it's pretty late and the fire's almost out, so it's probably time we all hit the hay. And no funny business tonight. <laughs> Look at you two, Ben and Rachel. You gotta conserve all the energy we can for the huge hike tomorrow. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Hmm. Ah, tent, sweet tent. No, no, you go ahead, baby. Ladies first, remember? <laughs> well, maybe chivalry completely isn't dead after all. Now hurry up and get in. It's freezing out here. Ah, that's better. Cozy? Hmm, good. The trip's been a lot of fun so far, don't you think? It's been ages since we've all been able to hang out like this. Everyone's always so busy with day-to-day -day life, so we really have to cherish times where we can just escape for a little bit like this, you know? Babe, you don't need to worry. I'm fine. Honestly, look. I, I may or may not have been a little startled by one or two of those stories, but I can handle my fair share of scares. I'm okay, I promise. Anyway, it's probably time we get some shut eye. Good night, lovely. Sweet dreams. Hmm. Time for sleep. I'll just close my eyes and forget all about the spooky stories. All about the blood and the vampires and lions and tigers and well, I like the bears. But okay, let's not forget it. Maybe if I just count sheep, it'll take my mind off things and I'll fall asleep faster. Yeah, that usually helps. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
Don't, don't panic. It's probably just the, the wind. Or maybe that's the wind. Sounds a little ghostly, though. I did hear that these woods were haunted. Could it, could it be? No, no way. It can't be a ghost. Those only exist in silly stories, right? Yeah, exactly. It's only wind. One of the many wonderful sounds of nature. See, like that. Just a friendly, everyday owl. Owls are nice. I like owls. Everyone likes owls. Oh shit, that did not sound like an owl. Or any creature that I'd want to be around for that matter. Okay. Deep breath. I'm probably hearing things. Mind over matter. It's all in my head. All in my head. Holy crap. I swear something just touched my leg. What the fuck was that? Creepy clown? Some other demon -y thing ready to drag me by the heel to the depths of the hell? Oh god. It's the new man. I'm gonna tell you here. Why did I agree to this again? Oh, did, did I wake you up, baby? Crap. Sorry, hun. I'll try not to move around so much. Am I okay? Well, I... I... No, I'm really not. Those last couple of stories really got to me, and I'm pretty freaked out right now, to be honest. Yeah, I guess I could go for some cuddles right about now. Oh, you want to be the big spoon? Alright, that's nice for a change. Mm. Come here. <sighs> I like this. I'm already starting to feel better, baby. I know, I know, and I'm sorry I hid all of this from you. It's just, well... The other guys were there with their girlfriends, and I guess I didn't want to embarrass you by being that wimpy boyfriend who couldn't even handle a couple of scary stories. I'm always trying so hard to be your... big, macho, knight in shining armor. <laughs> that it's hard for me to ask for help when I'm the one in need of protecting. Yes, I know I'm yours, just as much as you are mine, and... I know you've got me. Hmm. You make a good point there, baby. You can't really control the things that scare us, so... When we're frightened... It shouldn't be something I have to try and conceal. Especially when there's amazing people like you around to make everything feel alright again. Hmm. I guess I should be a little more willing to let you be the one to look after me at times like this. <laughs> You make a pretty good big spoon, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you for all this, baby. I really appreciate you being here for me. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot less shaken now, <laughs> to be honest. Just laying in your arms and listening to your heartbeat is enough to calm me down. I know I'm safe. Since I have you with me. Let's try and get a little more sleep. We got a long day ahead of us. Hmm. 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 I love you too, baby. <laughs> Good night.